Hi, and welcome back to the channel. I just finished a live stream workout. If you want to see those live stream workouts, uh, you can check them out on my other channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you how I set up the GoPro Hero as a webcam, whether you're going to be live streaming or if you're going to use Google Meets or Zoom. I'm going to show you the exact settings that I use uh, to turn your GoPro Hero into a webcam for those uh, platforms. So I started using the GoPro right when we started to go virtual. Webcams went completely out of stock uh, when Shelter in Place came in. So all the good webcams, uh, they just got sold out. So that led me to look for alternative options to uh, stream my class. So I have this thing lying around and I bought this a while ago. It's the GoPro Hero 7 Black. They have the GoPro Hero 8 now, which is available. The GoPro 7s are available. Uh, actually, a lot of the GoPros are still in stock and you can get them for cheap. If you want to get a used one, you can go on eBay. I've seen them listed as cheap as $150 to $200. Now, before you start streaming with the GoPro, there's a couple of accessories that you will need to use. You can't just plug this into your computer and then have your computer detected as a camera. One key item that you're going to be needing is a capture card. Now, capture cards are also out of stock, the good ones anyway, but there are a lot of good alternatives to the higher end capture cards. I'm using a capture card that I found on Amazon for $130 at the time of purchase. It's the Mirabox HD video uh, capture card. $130 on Amazon. Um, they have them still available. I recommend getting the USB 3 version because it's a higher data transfer between your GoPro to your to the capture card and then the capture card to the computer. So this is a necess necessity when you're using your GoPro as a webcam. Let's go into the GoPro settings uh, and I'll show you what settings I use to output into the capture card and then from the capture card into the uh, streaming software. If you haven't already, I have videos on how to detect your streaming software as webcams if you're going to be using the GoPro, if you're going to be using this setup for a private session for Zoom or Meets. Uh, check out the video uh, on the link above and you'll see how I set up uh, the software to connect as a webcam itself. So very important that you understand how to connect the, the camera to the software. Uh, once you get that, check out the video, but now we're going to go into the settings of the GoPro Hero itself and how to feed that through your uh, software of choice. So now we're going to go through the settings on your GoPro. So on your video mode, you want to go to your settings and let's set the resolution. Resolution 1080 by 30. So you have your 1080 and the 30, the 30 frames. You can go 24 if you want, um, but I prefer 30, it's just a smoother look for me, but you can play around with 30 and 24. Oh, one more thing, you can technically go to a higher resolution, but it depends on your bandwidth. Your camera will input that, but when you're feeding it out to your audience, you sh should know your bandwidth speed. Uh, just make sure it's really high before you start streaming in 4K. Field of view, now I put it on linear, but if you have a smaller space, now this is what's the good thing about the GoPros, the wide angle. So if you have a smaller space, you can set it to wide, for example, and you get uh, more coverage on your video. If you have a really small space, uh, you can go super view, uh, and that's ultra wide. Uh, but if you notice the distortion, on the video so just make sure that you're aware that the wider you go on the GoPro lens the more distortion you get on the sides over here for me linear is fine uh, it's wide enough that it captures my workouts even in a small space that I do it at and you don't get that distortion like if you do on super view the most important thing when you're streaming with the GoPro is stabilization. Now, if you are shooting a live video, if you're running around making um, action shots, that's what the stabilization was built for on these GoPros uh, and it's usually set to auto. But for live streaming, again, you're going to be mounting your GoPro onto tripods, so leave it at off. If you turn stabilization on, you're going to find a significant delay between the movement and the feed of your video to your 
dream software. Uh, so make sure stabilization is off. Uh, and Protune, again, this is more of a personal thing. If you turn Protune off, you're gonna notice a lot of the settings get, uh, they just disappear. Um, I'll turn it on for my settings. There you go. And so I leave shutter on auto, um, EV comp on auto, white balance on auto. So with live streaming, you're gonna wanna have consistent lighting throughout your whole session. So. Uh, you don't really have to worry about ISO and white balancing. Uh, the GoPro will do that all for you because again, the lighting is not gonna change. You're gonna be stuck in that same setting with uh, consistent lighting. Uh, sharpness, I put it on medium. You can go sharper, um, but again, that's all personal preferences. So color, I'll put it on GoPro. Now, if you put it on flat, it just flattens your picture so it makes everything uh, flat but the plus side to that so when I first started streaming I didn't really have too much lighting so I found that if I went to the flat profile uh, it kind of just brightened me up naturally but then you don't get that contrast you don't get that punchy look on the video uh, so once I started getting lights in uh, I went to GoPro color and you can see that it's uh, just a lot the colors stand out a lot better on the GoPro color and that's the thing with live streaming. If you're using the GoPro to record sessions uh, and then upload them to YouTube, uh, you would go to the flat settings and then you can just put all that punch, uh, punching is back into the cam camera on post. But because you're going live, you want the camera to process that for you as you stream. Uh, and after the color profile, I leave everything as is. So mics is a different video and it's a different setting. I stick my mics onto my cam, onto the, sorry, my PC itself. But again, you can mount your mics onto the GoPro itself and have the audio feed through the capture card. Uh, different video, I'll make one for that. But I just leave the mic settings alone and capture audio through the computer. There's one more additional set of settings that you gotta go to before you start live streaming. So what we did there was we set the video settings for processing uh, during our session, but you still gotta turn one setting on when you're connecting your GoPro uh, live through the capture card. So you're gonna wanna go to the preferences and you wanna go all the way down here to input output. Uh, and then you're gonna go to HDMI output and make sure it is on live. If you stick it on monitor, so you're gonna be seeing all these little menus over there if you leave it to that setting. So you wanna clean HDMI out. So let's go to preferences again, input output. So once you put it on live, it's gonna be uh, clean HDMI out and when you shoot, uh, or when you film through your GoPro, you're not gonna have any of these settings uh, coming out through the camera. It's just gonna be a clear film uh, as you see on my live streams. And that was it. Hopefully that helped you out. Uh, those are my settings for the GoPro. And again, there are a lot more things to uh, set up before you uh, start streaming. For example, the audio, lighting. I'll make different videos on that. But for now, that's how you get this, the GoPro, connected to your computer uh, as a webcam for your live streams and uh, private sessions. Hope that was helpful. Go ahead and subscribe if you like that, if that helped you share the video. I'm looking to get some traction on this channel. There are a lot more tutorials online uh, for how to use stuff like OBS and XSplit, the one that I use, and how to set up your cameras for them. They're mainly uh, centric for gamers. I'm doing this to help out friends and colleagues in my industry, the fitness industry, for those of you that are going into live streaming with your classes. So leave a like, leave a comment. If, you, if there's anything that I can help you out with, leave a comment and I'll try to make a video for that topic. But for now, uh, follow us so you can get a schedule of when we're gonna release new videos, new tutorials on this channel. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.